Seems like the winter is not letting up on mid-Missouri anytime soon. It certainly does not. The winter weather means fewer people are picking up free groceries from the food bank. Some Columbia families don't have the luxury of stocking up on food for the winter. The food bank is trying to change that. The food bank's mobile pantry gives away free groceries to residents. Although the weather keeps, keeps some from coming out, others thought it was worth waiting in the cold. Food costs have gotten so bad over the last decade or even longer that it's just really expensive. So the food bank helps out a lot. Volunteers hand out everything from chicken, vegetables, and cereal. Anyone is welcome to come and get groceries as long as they show an ID. Not all businesses are tired of winter weather. <laughs> Which is crazy to me. A new AP poll shows 45% of the public says the Senate should convict and remove President Trump from office. If the undecideds break in favor of the president, it will be a landslide of support for the president as attention turns toward the presidential campaign. When it comes to witness testimony, Republicans have swiftly voted down top officials in the president's cabinet testifying. Many say that was the work of the U.S. House, and that opportunity has now passed. There had been talk earlier this week about a witness swap where Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, would testify in exchange for having Trump officials testify. That's been rejected by Senate Democratic Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. Biden also rejected having his son testify or even appearing himself, saying he wanted no part of that. And they're giving the public a unique opportunity. KMU 8's Grace Taylor is live in Columbia to tell us more. Chinese health authorities are urging people in Wuhan to avoid crowds and public gatherings. That's after a warning that coronavirus has infected hundreds and caused at least nine deaths. More Wuhan residents went out to buy masks, with some saying they'd cancel travel plans for Chinese New Year and would stay at home instead. A shooting in downtown Seattle killed one person and injured seven others. Law enforcement is still searching for a suspect or suspects after locking down the area. The, identifi the identity of the person who has died has not been released. Of the other victims, one 55-year-old woman was critically injured and a 9-year-old boy was in serious condition and five other victims, all adult men, are stable. A woman accused of encouraging her boyfriend's suicide through text messages will be released from jail today. A jury found Michelle Carter of involuntary manslaughter in 2014 in the death of Conrad Roy III. Police say he took his own life in a parking lot in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Carter has been serving a 15-month sentence. The Empire State Building was lit up in Yankee pinstripes last night to honor Derek Jeter's election to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Jeter's retired number two was displayed on the mass of the building. The 14-time All-Star was elected to Cooperstown in his first year of eligibility. The Yankees' former star shortstop was also just one vote short of being unanimously elected in the Baseball Hall of Fame. New research shows there may be a way to boost immunity in the shingles disease. And you're taking a live look over the Columbia Regional Airport. Your time is 4.42. We'll be right back with KMU8 News today.